welcome back to another Achilles Getting Started video. In our last video, we talked about installing and configuring your gateway in order to do some more advanced secrets management. And in this video, we will be talking about targets. A target is an endpoint for a secret that stores privileged credentials, which can be used to create dynamic secrets and rotated secrets without breaking your environment. Targets also help admins keep their secrets and endpoints organized and ensure they don't have to add an endpoint for each secret separately. Before we continue, keep in mind that we're accessing the gateway from our main Achilles web console, not the gateway itself. So if you have users that are going to be using this, uh, the, the console, they can actually access and fetch all their secrets just with the web console. They don't need to actually log into the gateway. So let's go ahead and get started. Here you can see a diagram of the way it basically works, where you create a various number of uh, endpoints uh, with privileged credentials in order to for the target to use the dynamic secrets or rotated secrets to connect with those endpoints. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Great, so let's go ahead and create our targets. We're going to create a database target uh, via the UI, and we're going to create an AWS target via the CLI. So if we head back over to our console here, we can go down to targets, click on targets, then new. We can find our MySQL option here. Go ahead and click next. We'll give it a name, MySQL target. Go ahead and click next. Add in the username and password should be privileged credentials. Add in the host name and add in the database name. Then go ahead and click finish and your target will be created in the UI. So now let's go ahead and see how that's done in the CLI as well. If we go back into the docs, we can click on AWS target and we can see the CLI command to run. So if we go ahead and grab that command, head to our CLI, keyless create AWS target, give it a name, call it AWS target. And then we're gonna have to add the AWS access key ID as well as the secret key. So we're going to add the access key ID here. And for the access key, we're going to the secret, which is the secret key. We're going to leave that blank for now. Add that in the next step. And we're going to add our region US East 2. Go ahead and click enter. And it's now going to ask us for the secret key. So go ahead and grab it, paste it in, hit enter, and we have our AWS target successfully created. And we can go back to the UI, refresh it, and there is our AWS target ready to go. So now you know how to create targets via the UI as well as the CLI. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how to use a dynamic secret or dynamic secrets with AWS as well as MySQL. And that's it for this video. See you in the next one.